Hello guys, I want to take just a brief moment right now and do some examples for you from your skill check of how to work with scale drawings and proportions. So we're just going to dive right into it, but I've got this lame joke for you. I think I've used it before, but I'm sort of in the mood for it again today. And I'd like to know if you can tell me what it is that cats like to put in their cold drinks or to keep their drinks cold. Well, the thing that they love most of all to keep their drinks cold is mice cubes. So, I'm going to talk about scale drawings, and I'm going to read from your book to remind you that a scale drawing is a drawing in which all of the lengths are in the same ratio to the actual length. And you see this all, all of the time with architectural drawings or with blueprints. You know, you've got this little picture right here in front of you that represents something very, very large. And when it but you have what they call a scale, and it's on the map, and it says, okay, for every inch that you go on the map, that might be the same as traveling a hundred miles. And we've been talking about ratio, where a ratio is just one number in relationship, how it relates to another. And a proportion is something that says that two ratios are equal. So we're able to use this a lot to look at a picture where we've been given a scale, where we've been given the relationship between the size on the map and the actual size in real life, we can use this to determine real life distances and you do that a whole lot. Um, I actually use that in recipes as well. But I want to look at page 294 in skill check and the questions for question number one, two, and three say how far is it between towns with the given map distance? Use the scale that one centimeter is equivalent to 15 kilometers. So we have a scale of one centimeter to 15 kilometers. And of course, this is the metric system units of measure that we're using here, and a kilometer is a little bit more than half a mile. It's actually about six tenths of a mile. So we have this colon here. It means one centimeter, a ratio of one centimeter to 15 kilometers. So we can write that also in fraction form where we have one centimeter to 15 kilometers. We have centimeters in the numerator. We have kilometers in the denominator. Since we're really not worrying with doing much about canceling units now, I'm just going to write this little note over here that says centimeters are in the numerator, kilometers are in the denominator. So our first example says how far it is, is it between towns with the given map distance? First we have a distance on the map of three centimeters, which is just a little bit more than an inch. So we have to set up a fraction or a ratio that's the same, that relates together in the same way. We have three centimeters and we want to find out how many kilometers. Where do centimeters belong? Do they belong in the numerator or the denominator? Yeah, they belong in the numerator. So we have three centimeters and we want to know how many kilometers is it. Very straightforward. I'm going to Erase those units again. Units cancel out just like factors, but we'll see that a lot more in the future. I'm not going to emphasize that right now. Now with a proportion, we have one fraction equal to the other, and we can use, as I told you guys in class on Friday, this idea of cross products, which is just fantastic. So 1 times x or x is equal to 3 times 15. So the distance between the towns on the map, on the map it shows a distance of 3 kilometers, I'm sorry, of 3 centimeters. A map that was 3 kilometers would be ginormous. You couldn't do it. It would be meaningless. 45 kilometers is the distance. And you're able to do that because you have this scale here that says one centimeter is equivalent to 15 kilometers. So the next question that we have, that was number one in our skill check. Problem number two 
and our skill check gives us a distance of 5.2 centimeters. Again, one centimeter is 15 kilometers. 5.2 centimeters is how many kilometers? One centimeter, one to 15, 5.2 to how many? Because you're measuring distances and it's not hardly ever going to come out to be an exact distance. Cross products work just the same. One times x is equal to 5.2 times 15 x is equal to 52 times 15. 15, two fives are 10, 26, zero, two, five. Hopefully I did that right. 780, is it 780? No, you know I said 52 times 15. You have to allow for that decimal point in there. Don't forget that. So we have a distance of 78 kilometers between the two towns that are where we've measured the distance on a map of 3.4 centimeters, I'm sorry, of 5.2 centimeters. Our last problem in this set is we have 12.7 kilometers. What's the distance? Misspeaking my units. We measure a distance on the map of 12.7 seven centimeters. Our ratio here remains the same. Instead of it being 5.2 centimeters, the distance between those towns on the map is 12.7 centimeters. We cross multiply again. 1 times x is x is equal to 12.7 times 15. Then you go ahead and do your multiplication, which I'm not going to do, and you end up with 190.5 kilometers being the distance between those two towns on the map. And again, the only thing here, be careful to, to allow for the, the fact that you're multiplying by decimal. All right? Now there are two problems remaining in the skill check. And there, they are referring back to this scale drawing that we have here. And this is just a drawing that you could sketch very quickly. It's different than uh, an old time map that you would have that would show roads squiggling all around. But it still represents the same thing. We have four towns, Dover, Concord, Bradford, and Keene. We have a scale that's given to us. This is where it says, okay, for this map, for every two centimeters, that equals 25 kilometers. And then we have the distance between Dover and Concord, distance between Concord and Bradford, between Bradford and Keene, it's four centimeters, between Keene and Dover, it's 3.4 centimeters. So we can figure out how far it is between any of these towns. And this would be less valuable than an actual map because your road's not going to go straight for 10 miles, dead straight for 10 miles, maybe if you're someplace out in the Midwest where there's nothing. But this would be the distance between the cities as the crow flies, is a figure of speech that we use. So our first question is, what is the distance between Bradford and Keene? We want to find the different distance between those two cities. What's our scale that has been given to us? We have two centimeters represents 25 kilometers. So we have to set up a corresponding ratio. We want to find out what the distance is between them. Distance is expressed in kilometers. It's going to go in the denominator. We don't know what it is. The distance between them in the map on centimeters, centimeters go in the top kilometers go in the bottom. Now we cross multiply. 2 times x is equal to 4 times 25. 2x is equal to 100. Then you already know that the answer is 50. The way that we get to the 50 is we divide both sides of this equation 
by 2, and we have that the distance between Bradford and Keene is 50 kilometers. So you see that this is very, very straightforward. Now they want to know the distance between Dover and Keene. And this is our last example from our skill check. All I'm going to do is change the problem number here to problem 5. Because the original ratio is set up, our scale is 2 centimeters, it's 25 kilometers. The distance between Dover and Keene is 3.4. Cross multiply, cross products, 2x is equal to 3.4 times 25. Um, I was going to show you something about the calculator. I'm not going to do that right now. So we have 25. 3.4, 4 fives are 20, carry 2, 100, 0, 5, 75, 0, 5, 8. I think I did something wrong there. Oh, didn't do anything wrong. 850? Is it actually 850 kilometers? No, it's 85 kilometers because we have to allow for that decimal point. So 2x is equal to 85. Now this is where I was jumping ahead and thinking I'd done something wrong because the answer is 42 and a half, which of course is 85 divided by 2. I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by 2. And what do we get? We have x is equal to 85 over 2. And what I've been saying in class repeatedly is just keep things as an improper fraction as long as they're reduced to lowest terms, provided it's reduced to lowest terms and it's not something related to a word problem. This answer right here, 85 over 2 kilometers, when you're talking distance, do we ever talk about 85 halves of a mile or 27 thirds of a, well, 28 thirds of a yard? No, we don't. We always trans translate this into a mixed number or a decimal number. So you would say here that x is equal to 42.5 kilometers when you divide by 2, or you could get away with saying 42 and a half kilometers, but this one right here is really iffy. How do you like my fancy word? Really iffy. In real life, written math, they're going to say 42.5 kilometers would be written. If you're talking it, if you're speaking, you might say it's 42 and a half kilometers, 42 and a half miles. But one of these would be the preferable way to state the answer here, as opposed to a fraction reduced to lowest terms. So that's the end of these. And I'll see you next time. If I can turn this off.